A mother and a two-year-old child are healing from severe burns after a fire gutted their home earlier this week. Kelloland's Summer Rottershot talks with a family member and takes us inside to see the damage. The damage may not look serious on the outside, but the inside of this Sioux Falls home tells a much different story. The damage is extensive. The fire started Monday night while the family of four was sleeping. Caitlin, the oldest daughter that was home at the time, was able to have the wherewithal to know what was going on and be able to get out and escape and uh, contact first responders to be able to have them come and assist. Um, her younger sister Courtney and her younger brother Carter were also able to get out along with their mom Angela. Marie says that both the mother and the son were transported to Minneapolis for their burns. While mom Angela Sunby is doing better, Marie says two-year-old Carter isn't doing as well. He's just in a lot of pain. That was one reason why they moved him from Sanford up to Minneapolis. Um, his burns, which they say can take up to 72 hours to be fully realized, um, turned out to be third degree burns. Maurice says firefighters had to break through a window to get Carter out. And while they're thankful nobody died, the family is still experiencing a great loss. But it's, you know, there's family mementos that were lost in there. Carter lost a lot of his favorite stuffed animals, toys, books. Um, the girls, their rooms are, are gone. With Christmas just days away, loved ones like Maurice are doing everything they can to support the family of four. Obviously, as family, we want to make sure that this is not something that comes back every Christmas that they think about. In Sioux Falls, Summer Ottershot, Kelloland News. Oh, I hope he has a speedy recovery. Yeah. The family has started a GoFundMe to help with the extensive medical costs and other things that insurance won't cover. We posted a link under this story on Cavaland.com.